Valley Prince, owned by William Valiant, trained by Tom Harmer. Tom Harmer in the bike. Number two, Fulmar Red, races for A.E. Damron of Kevill, Kentucky. David Damron, the trainer driver. Number three, Gypsy Troubadour, owned by Dr. William Hunter of Alexis, trained by Jose Morales. Tony Morgan is up. Number four, Incredible Sight, owned by Edward Masenga of Fontana, Wisconsin, trained by John Butenshane. Brent Holland will drive. Number five is Fox Valley Champ, owned by David Brooks of Davenport, Iowa. Glenn Brooks, the trainer, and Andy Miller is the driver. Number six, Zoom and Buy, owned by John and Alice Roberts of Sandwich. Ronnie Roberts trains. John Roberts is driving. Number seven, Paragon of Virtue, owned by Steve Fradkin and Jim Eaton, trained by Jim Eaton. Dave McGee is up. Number eight, Major Graham, owned by Carol Graham of Salem, trained by Buddy Graham. Tom Graham, Jr., Buzzy, is in the bike. Number nine, Fox Valley Jackson, owned by Larry Binkley and Michelle Whitlock of Henning, Tennessee, and Jacksonville, Illinois, trained and driven by Larry Binkley. And number 10, Backstreet, owned by Shirley and Arthur Levin and by Sandra and James Zilley, trained by Homer Hochstetler, Dean McGee is in the bike. Post time for race 15 in five minutes. They're at the post for race 15, and the gate is rolling for today's finale. Here they come. They're off and pacing, and the big fella, Fox Valley Jackson, boils out at the start. Instantly, he opens up by three. He's rough. He made a bobble, and Binkley had to quickly gather him back together heading into the first turn, and now he tries to get him to relax. Fox Valley Jackson leads it by three. Gypsy Troubadour, one of the biggest threats and much the favorite here, is traveling in second toward the quarter. Zoom and by is third, and then Fulmar Red is racing in fourth toward the inside. Past the quarter, 26-1. and one. one of the quickest opening panels by a two-year-old in State Fair Colt Stakes history. Fox Valley Jackson leads it by nearly five. Gypsy Troubadour. Troubadour, second by eight. Zoom and by is third by two. Fulmar Red is racing in fourth at a gap of three to incredible sight, followed by Fox Valley Prince, who is followed there by Paragon of Virtue. Major Graham over 15 lengths off the leader, and they're at the half mile mark. Then it's as they race past the half, Fox Valley Champ. 54 and 1. So Fox Valley Jackson blazes past the half. Now we will have to see if he has anything left. Backstreet is the trailer. And Gypsy Troubadour all the while just licking his chops and following Jackson onto the far turn. Fox Valley Jackson leads it by two and a half for Larry Binkley in the green and gold colors. Gypsy Troubadour is second by eight. Fulmar Red third a half length. Then zoom and by an incredible sight. Fox Valley Jackson, three quarters, 124 and two. The lead is two lengths. Gypsy Troubadour stalking his every move, and now here he comes. Gypsy Troubadour now is rough gated off the far turn, and he drops out of it. He moves out very wide. He's lost tons of ground. Fox Valley Jackson left all alone on the lead by eight after an awkward development at the eighth pole. Fulmar Red is second. Incredible side is third. Fox Valley Jackson is halfway to the State Fair Championship. He wins it for Larry Binkley. Fox Valley Jackson by six. Fulmar Red was second to neck over incredible sight. Third, 154, two-fifths. Would go up to Lebanon and Ohio. And only in recent years has Larry made the full-fledged jump to a stakes stable. And this is his first full season racing in Illinois. He's from western Tennessee. The hard work and the years of sacrifice have paid off. Larry Binkley, ladies and gentlemen, with Fox Valley Jackson. In the photo for place, number two, Fulmar Red was second. The four, Incredible Sight, was third. The seven, Paragon of Virtue, was fourth. This pacer is by Sportsmaster, bred by Fox Valley Standard Breads, their fourth winner of the day. He was only priced around $3,000 as a yearling when he was purchased at public auction. Larry Binkley said what he liked about the Colt was the whole time he was in the sale ring, he did nothing but pace. This is his ninth win and 12 starts. Of course, a new lifetime record of 154 and two. He dazzled onlookers in the spring with some monster miles. The co-owner is Michelle Whitlock of Jacksonville, Illinois. 
And this pacer has stabled throughout the summer at the Coles County Fairgrounds in Charleston. That is Binkley's Illinois base of operations. And that's why a lot of folks from Coles County are in the winner's circle with Larry Binkley. Also a couple of folks from Jasper County joining him. Larry Binkley, tip of the hat. He and Fox Valley Jackson, 154, two-fifths. Let's go down trackside to Ed Teefee. Ed? Thank you, Kurt. Quite a story. Fox Valley Jackson is sub-158 winner at Decatur at that county fair earlier this summer. As you pointed out, he's won some monster miles at the county fairs. But oftentimes, when you come to the Illinois State Fair and take on the big boys that have been racing in Chicago, you don't go home a winner. But that's not the case with Michelle Whitlock, who comes from a harness racing family. She's the granddaughter of noted trainer Kenyon Walker. Michelle, this has got to be a big day for you. It sure is. <laughs> what did you think when they got to the half and 54 and 1 off that quarter and 26 and 1? Did you think Larry was a little crazy or did you think that was part of the game plan? Well, I know he's crazy, but that wasn't part of the game plan. Yeah. <laughs> but it was that was a very scary feeling knowing he was a quarter and 26 and 1 and a half and 54. I was just wondering how is he going to finish now and what about our competition? Well, he showed that he meant to be here off a win at uh, earlier this summer at a county fair in 157 and change. A big win here off a half and 54 and 1, a mile and 154 and 2. And Fox Valley Jackson, he'll go into the final next week as one of the favorites, I'm sure. Are you ready for him, Michelle? Oh, yeah. You it's been a, be ready. <laughs> it's been a great summer, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Thank, Th you. Th thank you. Michelle Whitlock from Jacksonville, Illinois, one of the owners of Fox Valley Jackson. Back to you, Kurt. Thank you.